Alright folks, and welcome to the next episode of Grimm's Garage. Today we're going to go over the start of a large lot I acquired from my local club leader and founder. Uh, he had a garage sale and advertised it on our local page. Um, had some pre-sales that we'll go over that I obtained online first and picked up at that day, which are usually all the boxed items and there's a lot more it's not going to be seen today because there's a lot um, it's going to be three videos at least maybe four so this is the first one I decided to split this one into a fantastic episode because I like fans he had a lot of a lot of them available so I grabbed everything I didn't have so that's what we're starting off with and the first one we're going to start off with, by the way, we're going to go from relatively least like to my favorite today on the Vans. So we're starting with the Vanster because it's a fantasy model pretty much. But I don't have this one in my collection, although I have one or two and I don't recall which ones they are. I did acquire another one of these today in the Disney line. I think it was Beauty and the Beast, but that'll be covered in a future video. So let's open this sucker up. Uh, oh, okay. I thought there was a lot more solid. I thought there was a black solid spot there, but no, the whole thing is clear. See right through that sucker. Is that a V10? Okay. Can you almost take that off? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yep, let's take a little tool assistance here. Not, not the blade. Not the blade. No, almost does. The rear clip pops out, but then the rest of it's in there pretty solid. Sorry for being off camera a little too long. I was trying to see if you pop that clip out, the whole top would come right off. But, uh, no, it's in there pretty good. I don't want to mess with it. Alright, next vehicle. Next one. Beach Blaster, collector number 528, 1996 on the card, so probably 97 release, uh, Beach Blaster, so I guess it's their release of a minivan before they had any licensing, similar to the last model. Ooh, okay. Uh, I assumed it being 97, this would have a little more metal to it. Especially based on the looks. It just had that retro look to it. But uh, it feels just as chintzy as the modern model. It must be one of the earliest downgrades. The whole bottom is plastic. And even really thinner plastic than... It, it just seems chintzier than the crap plastic we get today somehow this might be during the early experimentation of downgrading the materials but either way I love the retro styling on that sucker so that I'll find a beautiful home in my collection next one Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect oh there's another one of the letters on it Please, people, I asked this before. If anybody knows the story of why some of these have letters on it, which I assume is just random, like building blocks, so you can put a bunch of Hot Wheels together and spell something. Um, but if you know, let me know. Um, because I have a Chevy truck with the same 
getup, but alternate coloration, I'm assuming there might be a matching one in this van. That'll be something I'll have to figure out later. Um, some people try to point me to like the, the fandom pages and that, and I am aware of those. I try not to look at them too hard, or barely at all, because I, I like a lot of this to be a mystery. Yeah, this car, this car, what year is this? This one's 2017. Maybe 2018 really, so this one might have been out for four years, and you guys might all know about it, but I don't have it. I never heard of it, so to me, it's brand new. I would like that fresh experience of just finding it in the wild. Eventually, I'll have to get to the point where certain models, I'll have to see which one specifically I don't have. It'll start getting tight. Last one laying down. We got a Chrysler Pacifica. I had him on another one. Perhaps not. Oh. Yes. There's another Chrysler back there. So we'll do that one next. This one. Number six. Hot Wheels Racing Team kind of thing. Spare tires off the back. I don't know if that part of the windshield see how the front's supposed to look like uh Yep. Yeah, it's supposed to look like Baja style lights. Let's get her open. Hmm. So we got in here. Oh look at that. This model's got a go-kart in it, just like the Dodge van, the more classical full-size vans. Uh, okay, you know what? Um, maybe a pedal car? Or what do you call those uh, cars you just send? So box car. So you just send down the hill. Where I think the classical van has more of a actual motorized go-kart. Still pretty cool. Focus. I've been having focusing problems today. This is the second attempt of this video, by the way. I scrapped the first one. Thank God I didn't open any of the models yet. Can't undo that. Alright. Next Pacifica. Same exact getup, just a uh, different coloration. You know, at first, I assumed it was a police version, but it's not. It's just advertising itself and its tires. <clears throat> oh. Okay, I almost thought there was a melting issue there, but there's not. It's all good. Sparkle black white and yellow graphics pretty sharp for its model you know what sorry this backlight there we go I might be throwing off my focus here it might be a lot better there front end of that almost does not look real almost looks fantasy but it's modeled after a real thing Alright. Next, uh, we got a fan dango. Been opening a few of these lately, so I think this is like my fifth one in my collection. Opened a treasure hunt version of this earlier in a previous video. <sighs> Similar colorizations, this is very 90s theme colors. They were different colors on the uh, treasure hunt. So, where this is more of a red base, wild colors. The other one was a black base with fluorescent colors, like fluorescent greens and such. Still pretty cool. Uh, what is that? Dark purple glass with, I think. See, it's hard to tell. Is oh, okay. 
the interior matches this teal. I thought it was white perhaps or blue, but I knew that blue lighting with, from the windshield was messing it up. Pretty nice. Nice to have another one of these in the collection, even though it's not real. It's close enough to me. All right. <sighs> Roll Patrol Dodge Caravan. It's Police Academy all over it. Join now. That card, 2003 date. Red plastic windows. Very nice. Malaysia Dodge Caravan. <clears throat> All right, next. Another generic model from Hot Wheels, the Super Van, which is, that's a lot like, it's kind of in between a Dodge and a Chevy van. They just want to generalize, I assume, before they got any licensing. This having a poker thing. King of Hearts. Yeah, I think I've reviewed other vehicles that had card theme. So maybe they go to the same series. Speaking of other series, this channel is not specific to diecasts. It is primarily focused to diecasts. I do plan on doing on doing other toys. So if please uh, leave me some comments in the down below. I'm considering doing some videos on some NECA horror figure unboxings. Me and my wife, since her cancer recovery, have slowly started to recover some of our collection and it's all sealed we've only got a few so far we don't have any money really but what we have we've kept sealed for possible special occasion unboxing and now that I'm doing this we might as well do it on video for all of you I do love this model that's not specific to any brand it's close enough all right, next one. All right, uh, number twenty-six, Matchbox, Chevy van. Get in the fast lane. More eighties theme. Very cool. What's the date on this? Ninety-four. which um, Carl who I obtained these from tried to start educating me on some of the older treasure hunts that uh, Matchbox was doing because I'm not familiar with them I'm new to this and I had a couple in my hand which we'll see later on and he was pointing them out to me so if in future videos in this lot, or if there's treasure hunts I'm not aware of, fill me in. We got an 81 casting date on this. A little rough right there, but that's not the paint. It seems to be the casting. The paint's trying to do the best to cover it up. I love the casting. Um, it being a plastic base though, and the plastic chink T tires. For this one specifically, this model does feel like a dollar store China model. A no name China model. It's a combination of the big clunky tires and the base. It feels bad. Looks good. Unfortunately, it feels bad. 
All right, next. Now, these three, apparently all the same, Baja Breakers, but the later two are newer, so they've got nicer, newer tires. This one's got a nice purple and green slimy splotchy design on it. Roof rack, rear sunroof. Extra spotlights on the roof, red interior. I don't know why I'm trying to look at that now. I'm opening it. 96 date on the card. I like this. The tires could be better, but you know what? That's how they were back then. Why well, didn't that? It's a solid metal base and top. It feels hefty quality. It's 77 on the bottom. Yep. Nice. I like this guy. Alright. Next one. Next Baja Breaker, that is. Bit newer, still purple. This one with some orange and yellow flames and some new updated tires. 2008 date on the card. See the casting is exactly the same, it's just a lot better paint job. And they did a way cooler updating on the tires there. Uh, me personally, I think they both look ridiculous. I don't think they're very mm, visually correct, they look very toyish. But the newer one's a big improvement. Last Baja Breaker. Seems to be a wrestling WWE special edition. Not special edition per se, just a WWE edition. Baja Breaker. I mean, I like the silver and the black and the red, the Celtic cross. Is this specific to somebody? I'm not sure. I don't know. Triple H. There it is. Right underneath the Celtic cross. Sorry, I'm not a wrestling fan. I have friends that are. The closest I got to knowing anything about wrestling was the mid-80s. So I'm way out of date. Half the wrestlers I know don't exist or are even alive anymore. All classically known now. Yeah, I think this is my favorite one out of the set, just because it's all black and red on silver. Some of my favorite colors. I think I use a little more detail on the tires. Pretty sure it's the exact same as the last one. Yeah, exactly the same, just flat black on this one. As opposed to that chrome rims. I do like this guy. Alright. <coughs> On to the last two, which are in some boxes. And we'll save that for last. That's one of my favorite models. And we'll move on to this guy that you can't see because it's in a box. Uh, this little van toy show. 2005. So this is from the 2005 toy show. Carl put that on there for his sake and my sake. Special limited edition. So this is a limited edition to a toy show. It's a van I collect. I only have one other one. So I'm very happy to have this and to have it be a toy show exclusive. Really cool. 
Toy Show Construction Company. Building a better brand. Color Comp Deco Division. Hershey. Place I'm not going to disrespect by trying to pronounce. Williamstown. Hershey 2005. All the same. One of my favorite models because I love my vans. And I love anything with set certain. I love the fact that it's got the extra pipes and the ladder up on a roof rack. It's the second version of that I have. Uh, you know what? I think I might have one near me. I can show you the other one. Yes, here we are. I do have one accessible to me right here. There we are. What is this? Mission 1 Base Shuttle. So, this must be some type of NASA theme. Nice to have a pair of those. Different rims as well. What does it say on here? Ford panel van 180, 99 date. I don't know why that printing on top of this is 74. Oh, 19. I don't know. Maybe it's a limited number. Yeah. Other than that, the the base is the same. It's just this one has he printed. It says 1974 EA. So maybe that uh, maybe it's a limited number production. I don't know. And the last one for today, which is my favorite van I can recall so far in my Matchbox collecting, the TV news truck, because I love accessories. I love this. It's like a, I mean, they made it the same size as like the Chevy and Dodge vans, but it looks more like the bigger UPS, USPS, bread delivery type vehicles with a lot of electrical accessories for broadcasting. And here we go, we're cracking this sucker open. Don't know if this is anything special. Show edition, treasure hunt type thing, I don't know. And I don't care, because I want it open. Channel 6 TV. Love these. These antennas. Pop way out. Way out. It's another thing cl collecting this model, or any models like these. These little accessories have been known to break off, so it's nice to have them intact. We got a little news camera. And, uh,. Satellite antenna on top of that, and this being my one of my favorite van models, especially for Matchbox. I brought out the only other few of this I have to showcase. So there's that one I've obtained today. Another one that I also obtained from Carl, but from one of our previous shows. I obtained this one loose, so we got it pretty cheap. Unfortunately, he's missing. The prongs on this antenna. This one's themed Sky Satellite Television Mobile One. I love this model so much. Give me some antennas, Carl. Rock TV. I believe I opened this one up myself, brand new. All complete. Beautiful. And I just, I don't know. Reminds me of early 70s, or early 80s, late 70s local public television. Here in the States, that is, at least. Another one I had obtained brand new in the package. News at noon, weather and sports. and functional. I'll 
How can you not love toys that have moving parts? Come on. It's more to play with. I'm sorry. If we were kids and you had a Mustang and I had this, you might laugh at me and I might feel like crap in front of our friends. But I go home and play by myself. I'm going to have a lot more fun with things that have moving parts. Then just a car goes back and forth. That was my philosophy, at least growing up. I, and if, if there's more to it, there's more to enjoy, regardless of its popularity. And this one here is the one that started it all for me. I got this uh, in a junk bag at a thrift store. It's a little dinged up, but I like the uh, the dark. It's very 80s. Blacked out van, action TV, the yellow top and accessories. And with that, we'll call it a night, folks. Uh, there are many more vans in my collection. Uh, we'll see them in the future. Many different styles. It's one of my secondary favorite models to collect. And when I say models, I mean like shape. Literally shape. I love vans, well, all vans. My primary focus station wagons. I love station wagons. I don't care what station wagon. I want them. Of course, I don't really like newer ones. It's got to be early 90s or earlier. Preferably 80s or earlier. But I love them all, so if I come across them, I obtain them. I love my wagons. And vans. So, you good folks, have a good night. And I hope you'll join me again for another episode. Next episode, I'm considering we're going to do all Matchbox from Carl's Lot. And then one or two more loads of all Hot Wheels. Have a good night, folks. See you again soon.